We have a seven hour travel day. Seven hour travel day. Maybe more. Probably more. And we're going to be in the city that we're traveling for seven hours for 36 hours. It's 30%. Don't quote my math. It's 4 a.m. in the morning. Headed to New York City. My boy Brett's going to meet us there. Our flight's at 6. I might be getting sick. We're going to make this happen. My secret is to turn off my cell phone. Now in 2017, that's your watch also. So I turned it off. Uh, and that makes the time disappear because flight's at 6.01. It's probably about 5.30, uh, maybe 5.25. We're supposed to board about 5.35. And uh, I guess I've never traveled in the holidays that much. Still got 80% chance I'm getting on this airplane. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Captain speaking. What a waste of fucking day. <laughs> Barely made the flight, but we made it. 6 a.m. flight, Charlotte, about four, four and a half hours. Half hour layover, nothing. Now what? An hour and a half here? Two hours here. We're in LaGuardia. It's Friday, holiday season, so it's probably gonna take us another hour or two to get to the frickin' Manhattan. Uh, then hopefully pizza and a little bit of sightseeing. As the man, the magic man behind the camera's never been to New York, he's never seen anything, so we're gonna try to show him a little bit. Uh, I've never been in the Christmas season, so I wanna see the tree and tangs. Uh, so we go see the Christmas tree. Should we wait for Sandy? Oh, she's right there. I didn't see her. Buddy, <laughs> just focus on your angles, right? And then, uh... Get this angle. And then, uh... So I want to see the Christmas tray, Christmas tings at, uh... Rockefeller. And then, uh... Show Connor the city as much as we can tonight because we might have to leave 9 a.m. Sunday. Uh, working on that so we can spend Sunday sightseeing having fun but as of right now seminar tomorrow sightseeing today Boston Sunday and break I'm freezing my tits off uh, let me go it's 4 a.m. it's 10 o'clock eastern time now uh, I don't know if I said why I'm here we're doing a seminar at Solace Gym. My boy Kenny runs it. The homies at Reebok want us to come out here. I think it's like $25 to do the class. All, or the seminar, all proceeds are going towards Movember um, for like men's health awareness and things. So that's why I'm here in New York. I'm gonna sleep. <laughs> Try to shake this cold. I got that itch right here. It like. Every time I try to breathe, it feels like that. So I'm gonna try to uh, sleep it off, chug some liquids, and then uh, there's a bunch of cool people. So there's uh, Joe DeFranco, Bert Soren, Brandon Lilly, me and Tehran. Uh, apologize to the others' names who I uh, aren't at the top of my head right now, uh, but there's Joe probably Joe DeFranco's like a legend. Yeah. Joe DeFranco's a fucking legend, bro. He trains Triple H. What else did he do besides that? Uh, Brian Cushing. And he trained a bunch of NFL guys. Uh, he worked with On It for a while. He trains like the WWE. So like, <clears throat> he's legit. He's from Jersey. Watched a lot of his videos going up. Um, Bert Storn and I have had a good chat on the phone, but I've never met him. Obviously, Brandon Lilly, uh, who I've known for some years now and learned a bunch from. So I'd like uh, to feel awesome, non-jet lagged and non-fluish and go hang out all day. Um, but we'll just have to sleep as deep and as much as I can and figure it out in the morning. Um, and then we leave 9 a.m. on Sunday to Boston. So give this tang a thumbs up. Seminar coming tomorrow. Flu or not, I'm going to crush the seminar. But we'll figure out the rest of the day based on how I feel. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bug buds bite. And if they do, count to two and wake me up in the morning. And something that uh, keeps me in the gym and keeps me kind of doing what I do, whatever the heck that is, um, is that the barbell doesn't really care where we're from. Uh, the barbell doesn't really care who we voted for. Uh, the barbell doesn't care how much money is in our bank account, who our parents are, uh, or anything uh, once you get under it. Uh, so strength, like Tarong kind of just mentioned, um, is the great equalizer. Uh, you lift it, you don't. 
pounds don't change day to day, kilos don't change day to day, uh, and any opportunity I can get uh, to get around like-minded individuals. If you only surround yourself with your beliefs and your type, whatever that is, if you're a weightlifter even, uh, you're a powerlifter even, uh, you know, 10 years ago, it, it was a serious like feud. Uh, even now, you know, people are bashing CrossFit or bashing Strongman. Uh, and the more you hang out with people that are of that extreme nature, politically, financially, uh, socially, uh, the, the further we are gonna be apart from each other. Um, so if we can all just focus on, again, the barbell doesn't care what's in our bank account, the barbell doesn't care our skin color, our religion, anything of that nature and we can start to draw more together uh, i think the better off we're going to be uh, and events like this allow us to do that in a positive manner so shout out to kenny and solace shout out to reebok uh, shout out to jen big breath squeeze here okay, take your, yeah you got a big breath in here squeeze this take your time good squeeze this tighter squeeze 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 good nice big breath force those knees out good drive into the bar good one more a little bit of more aggressive no pause drive into the bar yeah that's good, bro. If, if I'm your coach, that's how we're sparring. What if your palace is performing high bar? If I'm your coach, that's how we're sparring. You can squat however you like. Uh, yeah. I feel like I should do it as well. Yeah. But I feel like I'm doing too much in the posterior. And you're a newer lifter, you don't know anything about your posterior hurting. <laughs> you know what I mean? What do you mean? If you're a newer lifter, what your body can do and the loads you're handling are not fatiguing your low back. When you're squatting and deadlifting 700 pounds multiple times a week, then you can be like, Mike, man, my back's having issues. We gotta figure this out. If you're not in, if you don't have an injury and I'm your coach, I'd squat that way. Yeah. Yep. How'd it go? I don't know. You tell me how it went. I can't say like, oh, fuck it, killed it. You can. All right, killed it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I know Connor behind the camera here is a real friend because he'll tell me when I suck and when I'm good. So we'll figure that out if I did good here. But he told me in the past, like, Mike, that seminar needs a little more feeling. Or Mike, not your not your best work. He's actually, he's a nice enough friend to cut it how it is and still be nice. Like, not your best work. I'm like, oh. I want to make each seminar, each video, each fucking Twitch stream, each podcast that's coming soon uh, the best that we can. Level up, not sideways. We got fucking fancy equipment. He's got his Gandalf staff of stability. Woo! That's pretty good. That sounds like it could be in, uh, in uh, <laughs> Dungeons and Dragons or uh, what's Zelda. It, what, uh, Zelda or uh, what else do they uh, play? Uh, what's the real nerdy one? Uh, World of Warcraft. That's a World of Warcraft weapon. The Gandalf Staff of Stability. Uh, we got this new gimbal. We're fucking upgrading shit. Appreciate you guys. I think there's a party upstairs, which I'm going to try to avoid. And then uh, I think we're going to go to dinner, uh, hopefully with these guys. Uh, they're cool to talk to. Welcome to the 35th. Hunger Games. Cut the cool train scene. First time on the train. Maybe a second. First real time on a train. And we're not at Hogwarts, so that ride was bullshit. <clears throat> not at the Hunger Games or the Capitals, so that was bullshit also. Downtown Boston, out here for Reebok. Uh, it's cool because they moved their headquarters downtown. Uh, and I've been out here a bunch. I've been with Reebok for probably about 40 years. Um, but every time we come down here, their old HQ uh, is off in the suburbs. So it's probably about 30 minutes from downtown. Uh, but they just moved downtown. They're trying to be more part of the, the city and the culture. So uh, my dad used to travel here a ton uh, for work. He worked for John Hancock for a long time. And he always talked about how much he liked Boston. So uh, this trip, I'm excited to explore downtown a little bit. It's freezing. I got a headache. My flu is getting worse. We're gonna check in the hotel, and then uh, I don't know. I don't know what we're gonna do. Find some food, maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Break up four hours in bed. Yeah, the departed's here. The departed. Fuck. Shit. Cunt. Departed. Shake Shack. Fuck a chicken sandwich, bro. Come on, dude. What a hair, dude. Hey, dude. Talk about my fucking hair, huh, dude? Huh? You're in fucking Boston, you talk about my goddamn hair here, Shake Shack, huh? There you go. Game on, team. Appreciate you. Podcast coming soon. I know you're hyped. I'd love to give you the link, but I don't have it yet. Smash this thing with a thumbs up. Give it a like. Give it a subscribe. Next video will be in Boston. See you in Boston.